Taurus. So I came to do your weekly reading. Let's see what comes up for y'all. Let's see what emerges. Okay, I'm into it, I'm into it. Okay, flipped over. Okay. So what I'm seeing here, Taurus, is that your blessings have now been firmly rooted in something that took a lot of courage for you to get through. Whatever new situation it is that you're going through, it's not actually a new situation for you. But grounding it took a lot of courage. Making sure that you brought whatever idea, um, whatever new concept, whatever new action uh, plan home. It's kind of like this. Let me give you an example. If you've been wanting to get fit for a long time, let's just say that, or do some body sculpting, um, potentially, I don't know. Um, there's a blessing that you've been striving for, that you've been working, drip, 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 I'm just seeing a bucket that has literally a continuous drip of water going into it, but it's a, a long time filling up the bucket. And this is a drip, 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 it's a constant knocking away at, the, at these boundaries that were here. I'm seeing three points. And then I'm also seeing these three um, little drips of blessing, right? So finally, the bucket is heavy enough that it, gra it, it drops to the ground. And you are now able to use that the, the bucket and the rope that you've got here as an anchor for yourself. Maybe for a whole bunch of balloons. I don't know why I'm seeing balloons. I'm just seeing um, a string tied to a balloon. That is a new opportunity or a new a gift that you've got, a new idea that you're trying to create. It's not new to you, but it is a um, something that you're trying to focus on. And it takes courage to keep focused on something that nobody has necessarily seen before. Moon energy is very much a secret. Maybe there's something that's bubbled to the surface recently, which is not a problem, but it is a big deal to you. So this. I don't know what kind of rock this is. It kind of looks like obsidian, onyx, or um, some type of, um, you know, flint of some type. Um, if this gift is something that you're familiar with, then you're also familiar with the courage that it takes to get here. So it's not new to you. This is not something brand new. Oh, my God, here it comes. Like, it's not like it's something um, to fear. This is definitely some not courage as in you should gather your strength when we're going to war. It's really not like that. What I'm seeing here is just that you now have the tools that you need to firmly root yourself going forward into whatever this is. And that's a real gift to you. Maybe before you didn't feel totally prepared. The bucket wasn't really totally full of water and therefore the, the balloons kept slipping away. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get some more clarifiers using the mix and match fairy tale tarot deck. Okay, those just flew out on top of these. You Okay, so you might um, have felt like you are literally, this is so interesting. So you might have felt before like the only thing that was happening was you were blowing hot air up someone's butt or maybe your own. Maybe someone was doing that to you. And it took a lot of courage to turn that around and, and make it into a gift. So from the, the ground up, you really had to build like stepping stones for yourself to get to your destination is what I'm seeing. Sorry, you guys. Sorry about that. I always forget to turn my ringer off before I start. It's kind of disrespectful. I apologize, Taurus. Anyway, um, so then let's go ahead and see the third... card that could fly out if it wants to. Ooh, okay, so that's kind of what I'm saying. You see how these, this very much is reflecting the same exact energies, where I'm almost seeing that this dragon is the one that had, this 
whatever just took place had to happen in order for the things to boil over in the correct way for your plan to move forward. It might have been something that really inflamed, like I'm seeing, um, incense is actually really positive, but when you think about, I was incensed about it. Like I, you, you can also look at incense as being kind of an upset feeling emotionally. So I'm seeing fumes here. So I was fuming, um, and little, a, a fire. Some, there was something, some type of fire starter energy was applied here. And it was meant to kind of elevate the situation. Or um, I'm, I'm just also hearing escalate, like an escalator. Just, it's it's trying to actually take, um, in, instead of reporting it to management, you're going a step above them to corporate. You know, and then from corporate, they take it to the CEO of the company or something like that. There's steps or levels that I feel like you had to alchemically move through to get to whatever space it is that you're headed toward at this moment. And I think this process has taken a lot of courage from you. And I think because you have that courage to move from, I'm just seeing the water that you're adding to the bucket. This is the bucket that I was maybe referring to over here. Um, you've now finished your concoction. It's now completely cooked. It's, it's ready to come off the, the fire and is now starting to harden or um, coalesce into something, yeah, into something literally tangible. You might want to go look at the Capricorn reading as well as the Aries reading from last week. So Capricorn, I think I just uploaded today, and then Aries from last week. If you're getting married or, yeah, if, if this gift is in some way having to do with a portal or the, um, a monumental moment in life where you're, you know, I'm just seeing this happy home in the back with the hill and the tree and the, the perfect picket fence. Um, if that's the gift that you're moving towards here and this portal or whatever opening has come into your life is something that is a commitment you've been trying to kind of create for a while in the background, this is definitely coming into um actually happening for you so that's really great it looks like also that um you know you, you've been carrying this like i said for a while you've been letting these this divine knowledge drip into your cup into the basket pretty quickly um as quickly as you could at least this without the anchor portion of this grounded card that's an onk, or the, the sign for womanhood. So you may be literally grounding yourself, getting ready for a huge life event that has a lot to do with walking through some type of new portal of life. So this could be like a new baby. This could be a new job. This could be a marriage, literally. This could be uh, a new house, a new car. I knew this this could be a plethora of things, but whatever it was, you literally walked through the fire to get here. You know, they say, you know, with blessings that sometimes they, God or, a, you know, higher powers, the universe, whatever you want to call higher dimensional beings, that they maybe, you know, sometimes save you through the fire and sometimes they save you from it. So in this case, they saved you through it. And you've now reached this new level of um, achievement that you actually knew you were going to reach. And you knew it was going to be a struggle. But you made it to the other side. So, yep. You really, you really ascended or climbed up the ranks to your own happiness and the actualization of dreams and wishes coming true. I just want to get some um, future kind of guidance and energy for you as well. I just wanted to give that a little shuffle. That's too many cards. 
I don't know why I feel like shuffling these as well. Give me a second. Okay, these are coming out really chunky. They don't want to be shuffled. You may feel very much like you are. You know which order you need to proceed with things. Very much so. Taurus, very much so. I think you know what you need to do. You guys are really bullheaded, and I think once you're able to reevaluate or look at the big picture, it makes things a lot easier for you from a bird's eye perspective to keep your focus on whatever your long-term goal or game plan is. Yeah. Like I just said, going through the fire involves some really hard inner work. So without shame, there's no intuition. So in a way, this is kind of like no pain, no gain. You know, um, sometimes it is hard to take a look at the mirror and say, hey, you know, I could fix X, Y, and Z. And especially like I just said, you guys are very bullheaded people, not in a bad way, but just business-minded, able to... Yeah, able to create very much so your own reality. And I think when you're not feeling disciplined or when you feel like things are out of your control in some way, shape, or form, I'm so sorry. This is actually really not the best angle for this camera. I'm going to figure something else out. But for the time being, this is a di discipline card. you got shame, intuition, and discipline all in the reverse. There's no shame, no intuition, and no discipline. That's like a look, a long, hard look in the mirror at your ego. And you've already done that because this is also in the reverse. You didn't, you didn't have any better knowledge. You didn't know better before how to do this. And it wasn't really a burden for you to necessarily be doing whatever it was that you were doing before. I think we all do the best that we can do at any given moment. But I also think as soon as you got the recognition that you're able to ground something better, that's what you do, obviously. I think most of us try try our best to do better at all moments in time, you know? And even though it might not look, I'm just also seeing that the, the blue and the red right here, the blending of the two creates letting go of, of love or grounding love in those three prongs, or being able to let go of shame, being able to go ahead and, and admit, hey, you know, this is maybe something that I can increase upon instead of fight against. That takes a lot of courage to be able to look in the mirror and say that kind of stuff, actually. Yep, and that's the love that you're able to offer. You know how they always say happy wife, happy life? I don't feel like that is necessarily true, but I think it is if you believe in the yin and yang life force where, you know, there's a masculine and a feminine side. You do have to keep both of your energies balanced in order for your life force to be able to manifest fully and quickly and in a way that does not require you to sink down um, in a shameful way or in a way that doesn't have discipline or intuition. It's just literally a, a bubbly kind of wonderful uplifting of self and of others when it comes to Venus. You can eat a fly like eat a, eat a fly like a Venus fly, fly trap or you can also be um, the fly itself listening to the conversations that happen or are written across your own walls it's really it comes down to a, a vibrational energy that you're able to as a Taurus ground better than anybody else so I think that's the the main 
point of it all is now you're creating your own bubble. And I think you knew that you were going to create your own bubble. I think it was just a matter of time before it came into actual fruition. And now it's here. Can I get an animal card for the new moon reverse, please, so we can get more clarification on what exactly that is going to look like for the collective? Hmm. I really think you should go and take a look at the Capricorn read. Um, I just had some foxy image come up for them as well. Um, butterfly is at the bottom of the deck. So this has been a transformational process for you, and you've really taken it to a, a, the next level in a, a clever way, too, in a way that was continuously being rebirthed. Just, there's a woman with a heart inside of her, then there's fire, almost fire in a lotus, and then another heart inside of another woman. Um, so it's like generationally this took place. This was preordained as a, a process that you were supposed to go through in order to give yourself this clean slate. A new, when you first clean off a chalkboard and you learn something new, you become more cunning. You've, you've added knowledge to your playbook. You've understood the long-term strategy and piece together a, a bit by bit plan on how to get there yeah you don't even have to think about it it's just natural it comes forth forcefully and, and naturally to you you don't even have to really realize anything do anything new and that is the message here's your there's your message you know, if um, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, you may want to go look at their read. They did have the message in reverse. So they should really come look at your read as well. But this is the message, is that you're doing exactly, you're, you are exactly where you need to be. And progressing through that is a no-brainer. It's It's been a, a long, hard journey, but you've made it. So... Um, I'm going to leave it here, Taurus. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll talk to you all next time.